Hey guys, I have another book review for you, and it is called Vicious Little Darlings, and this is by Katherine Ezer, and this is about a girl named Sarah who, um, her parents, uh, I think died or something. Well, her mother, her, her parents are kind of estranged from her, and so she lives with her grandmother, and her grandmother, um, wants things that she doesn't want for her, so she decides to go to a school, um, away from her grandparents and so she meets um uh, <laughs> what's her name agnes that's right agnes and maddie and maddie um is kind of a compulsive liar and agnes is a little obsessed with maddie and weird things start to happen to sarah when she decides to move in with them and um i think this book was meant to be scary but i didn't really find it that creepy um I gave it a 3 out of 5. I liked it, but I didn't love it, and I didn't think it was that um, memorable, but I, the main reason that I did not like this book is because of Sarah. I found her to be very shallow, very boring, very one-dimensional, very typical of YA books. Um, she was very um, um, easy, if you guys know what I mean, and she kept sleeping with people that she didn't even know their names like it was very obnoxious and at one point um she had sex with someone and she was talking about how if she thought she was pregnant how um she'd have to get an abortion because she wasn't ready for this and blah 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 and I was just like what like if you open your legs you got to be ready for the consequences and that really really turned me off about that book about this book so <sighs> um, the ending was good, though. I did like the ending. I kind of suspected it, but I wasn't, like, completely not thrown. So, I enjoyed that part. But, um, I found it to also be kind of sad because I did like Agnes's character, actually. Once I finished the book, I understood her way more at the end than I did at the beginning. Because at first, I really hated her. But I think that's what the author wanted that to happen but I kind of felt like Maddie and Sarah used Agnes for sure because Agnes is the richer one and so she pays for everything and I just felt like she allowed herself to be a doormat and I wasn't a fan of that I like a strong female character as I know you guys have heard me say a million times so I'm not a huge super duper fan of that but I did like the writing um there was a few creepy parts but nothing out of the ordinary. I actually would almost say that Pretty Little Liars is creepier than this book. So, um, yeah, it kind of fell flat for me. I did give it a three because I did like it, and it was an enjoyable read, but I didn't love, love, love it. So, um, go at your own risk, guys. I mean, I guess it's good if you have nothing else to do, but, um, yeah, I just, and I found Maddie's character to be really obnoxious, but, and childish. But, um, and there is one part about an animal in here that really upset me. And so that is another reason why I didn't give this a good rating because all the girls are so self-absorbed and just irritating and it just bleh. So, eh, there's not much to say about this one. If you want to read it, go ahead and read it. But, um, it's not one that I will be bragging about and wanting everybody else to read, unfortunately. So, Vicious Little Darlings by Katherine Ezer, 3 out of 5. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye.